You heard the story a few moments ago about his father spending the money out of the family business to establish Brian Vickers' racing career, attracted the attention of one of the biggest team owners of all, Rick Hendrick, and put him in position for this championship. White flag is up, and Casey Kane is on his final lap in pursuit of his first NASCAR Busch Series win. Enumclaw, Washington is the place. It's Casey Kane, a NASCAR Busch Series winner for the first time. He takes the Ford 300 at the Homestead Miami Speedway. Dead even as they come to the white flag. Oh, oh, oh. hey, Casey Kane's not going. He's going to run hard on the outside. Bimble, oh, he's still Bimble there. Gets loose. He's still there. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. What a job both of those drivers did. That was impressive. The beginning of the day, we talked about how this track has earned a reputation for producing close finishes, and here comes another one. Greg Biffle and Casey Kane out of four. To the line for the checkers. And Casey Kane has the run. Kane wins. Wow. Get him there. Get him there, buddy. That is, that is a great job. Wow. I did not think Casey Kane could hold them off. Here they come to the white flag. Do they have enough fuel to get back? Final lap of Daytona is underway. Forty-two is on your tight. Yep, yeah, twenty-two is closer. Joey Logano getting the run on Regan Smith. Here comes Casey Kane in the five. Ryan Sieg in that 39 car up through the middle. Jeremy Clements into the picture. All going on behind Regan Smith. Can he hang on? Will the fuel last to the finish line? Here they come to the checkers. Casey Kane on the outside lane. Three wide to the win at Daytona. He'll do it this time. White flags in the air. Once he crosses that start finish line. The biggest lap of Casey Kane's young racing life right here. And no pressure from behind. He took over the number nine from legend Bill Elliott, who served as his mentor for a season. And now it's all his own. Off turn four. Casey Kane is a winner at last. White flag in the air, last lap. I'm not sure. Tony Stewart's going to have to get a lot Clear closer if he's going to make any kind of move. He's got till now till turn 10. Oh! It's Mark Martin, Robbie Gordon, Jeff Burton. These guys got to keep going. I don't see anything. Stay under green. I don't think Stewart. They all he's got, got away. enough, but Ambrose is definitely looking at the back of the 14 car. Five back, bud. Five back. Less than half a lap. Second, third, and fourth behind Casey Kane. Five, five. Yeah, I think they're too spread out unless you see a real bonsai from somebody. Hey, Casey's done a nice job. It's a lot of pressure doing that over and over again. Casey Kane's father supported his racing Clear career from a very early age. Sent him off to the Midwest from Enum Paul, Washington, to further his racing career after he got out of high school. Now he comes back to the West Coast, and Casey Kane wins at Sonoma. Edwards trying to catch Casey Kane for the win. Tony Stewart getting under Jeff Burton for one point toward the championship on the final lap of the race. Now, Burton had been slipping a little bit. Looked like he's having a hard time with his car right in the center. Tony taking advantage of that adjustment they made to get that spot. Edwards and Stewart going to go to the season finale. Oh, so close to the championship. Today, though, at Phoenix, it's about Casey Kane and Red Bull Racing scoring the win, breaking a long dry spell. Casey Kane wins the Cobalt Tools 500. Rudeman got out of his truck and into the ambulance on his own power. Oh, there.
it is. Yeah. Bobby Jr. missed a shift. Looks like he missed a shift, and Bobby Sr. had no way to avoid that. But what hard contact again. That's a second hard hit for David Rudiman in the last few weeks. Watch the smoke out of the out of the right left side of this truck. See it right there? Yeah. That's a miss shift yeah. or something malfunctioning in the truck's engine. Yeah, I drive said, line when he went to shift. I said Atlanta was actually Texas where David Ruderman and Bill Lester made such hard contact with the outside wall. Checkered flag will fly as Casey Kane comes across the start finish line. This wasn't the way he wanted it to end, but it is a win nonetheless in his first ever Craftsman Truck Series start. Working their way through three and four. This time by Casey Kane's going to see the white flag. One more time around Darlington Raceway. It was tied against the outside he wall He is trying there. everything he can to get by Hornaday in that 33 truck. Remember, he told us the most important thing is to get to the finish here. The battle for second continues. Kane now with a huge lead. Going down the back stretch. Hornaday stretching his lead over Bodine. Watch Crafton in this 88 truck, though, through three and four. Now he hard charging is Todd Bodine coming out of turn number four. In four starts, this will be his third win in the Camping World Truck Series. As the final lap happens at the Rock, the first time the Camping World Truck Series have ever been to this historic racetrack. And it's Casey Kane who has been dominant since the halfway point. Nelson P.K. Jr. after a valiant effort to start the race, battling back, trying to get into the top five. It won't happen. Out of turn number four, Casey Kane will win at the Rock. Way to go. Good job, Mike. White flag. <laughs> One to go. Man, I thought he was, I'll tell you, he's making a run oh, in. Driver. I think Kyle Busch just has to protect that bottom right there. Biffle stays right with him. Half a lap to go. Woo, Biffle oh, right out next to the wall off of two. Bush got this a is it. jump there. This is it right here. Last chance. Kyle Biffle's got to get to him. He can't do it. Can't quite make it. Kyle Bush scores his first Bush Series win. Good for him. Yeah, these guys talking. They might have could. They probably needed four tires and about 30 horsepower if they were going to deal with Kyle Bush. Now I think Wait, they could have got the tires and fuel, but they weren't going to be able to get the horsepower here. White flag waving to Kyle Busch, who's had all kinds of issues here in the 2008 NASCAR Nationwide Series season. He spun while leaving in Nashville. He cut a tire. He broke a shock mount. He's been involved in an accident. He has not gone to victory lane in 2008. He is a half a lap away from changing that. Here he comes. White flag, one and a half miles to the checker flag. Now it's time. If you got it, you got to show it. Let's see what Hamlin can do. Danny's just got to bomb it into turn three. Go! Oh. And the seven car, heavy contact. And that'll, that race is over. Once the uh, green-white checkered, if there's a yellow, the race ends immediately by virtue of scoring on the racetrack. And Kyle Busch will be the winner here. Here comes Kurt Busch, the white flag, one to go. Menard flag rushed right the wall. Here. One more. Coming off turn four. Well, it doesn't matter what happens now. We've had our one attempt. Now we've got Kevin Harvick and Scott Wimmer side by side. No longer Harvick will take the position. That was a battle for eighth right there. Biffle gaining. He's really got to send it into turn three. He's a car length and a half back. Not going to get there. Nope. Boy, Casey Mears is the one that drove it in there, and uh, to no avail, though. Kurt Busch wins the O'Reilly 300. Coming to the white flag. Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin. Oh, he got him he loose got right run. there. Inside, the figure park, white flag, one more. One, one more, he got nothing out back. How rough will it get? Can Kurt hang with him? Joe Gibbs Racing's 18 with Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, and brother Kyle's 54. Here they come to the checkered flag. Who's it going to be? Hamlin sliding it sideways. Give it to Kurt it. Busch. Joey Logano, winner of two of the last three restrictor plate races in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, will lead at the white flag. White flag. Will he lead at the checkered flag? Two and a half miles to go. Kurt Busch, big run to the outside, pushed by Ricky Stenhouse. Well, it is a huge run that Kurt Busch is making here. Eight, 
separated. Actually got separated with the 18 and the two. Dillon to the bottom. But that's going to push him. Kurt push to the point. Couple lap to go. It's like Dillon's going to have the momentum. Where does Finhouse pull out to try to make the move for the for the win though? He doesn't want the one to win. If the 43 stays tucked up to the three, they'll have a chance here. And watch for the six to pull out and make a move to try and win it himself. Here they come. Checkered flag is in the air. Who's going to win it? Oh, trouble. Austin Dillon spins. Kurt Busch wins. <laughs>